Cows are lovely animals to work with. I love working with cows. They're, <laughs> they're probably my favourite animal, to be honest. He's being greedy. <laughs> Today is the first day for the cows out in the paddock. They're learning how to use the machines for the first time, so we're trying to train them up and get them all ready to use that full time for the experiment. Just like that. The trailers that are in the field are essentially implements to measure methane from the animals. By getting better understanding around the amount of methane that a cow produces, we can maybe look at putting solutions in place. One of the things we're measuring is complementary feed. So we're putting feed additive into the concentrate feed pellet. So we'll be measuring the methane output as a consequence of these additive. There's been research showing that it can reduce methane up to 30%, so that's looking very promising if it goes along that line. The additives we're looking at, uh, and there's a whole range out there, from very natural products to more chemical-based products. And at the moment, our plan is to look at uh, more the natural products that come largely from plant extracts. We can see on the website if the cows have visited or not, so I looked this morning and as soon as they came back from milking this morning we had two visit, which was very exciting, so they've clicked on pretty quickly and since 10 o'clock onwards we've had most of the cows enter them by themselves. We've had all of the cows here that we've been training go in, so it's been, in my book, a success. I've got 55 more cows to train, but they try their best. There's no silver bullet in relation to climate change, no silver bullet in terms of emissions, but the combination of a whole range of different technologies such as genetics, such as grass qualities, additives, they will all work together. There is potential to reduce emissions at farm level. It's just that we probably need more of those advances as we go into the future.